made a little history Tuesday night, didn't we? We maintained the House of Representatives and the United States Senate because we elected Todd Young. Here in Indiana, we elected a Republican superintendent of public instruction and a Republican attorney general, and we protected our supermajorities in the state house and senate. And if I do say so myself, thank you, thank you, thank you, we maintain the governor's office as well. You know what other history we made? I think you do. America, starting right here in Indiana, just after 6 p.m., elected our very own Governor Mike Pence as the next Vice President of the United States of America. Americans chose proven and responsible leadership, the type of leadership that creates jobs and lowers taxes and works every day to improve the lives by focusing on the future. Just imagine, just imagine how much we can do. Innovation and creation and, 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 and creativity with their overburdensome regulations. But there's one thing that every single person here doesn't have to imagine, and that is what kind of vice president Mike Pence will be. Because we've known Mike Pence for over 20 years, just, just like so many people now are getting to know around America, and our impression of Mike Pence has never changed. He's a man of integrity. He's a man with a servant's heart. And he's never forgotten that cornfield in the backyard where he came from and where he's been leading others to. And like I said about Indiana on Tuesday night, when it comes to a Trump-Pence administration, you ain't seen nothing yet. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please give a great big Hoosier welcome to our First Lady and Vice President-elect of the United States of America, Mike Pence. Give me the name.
It is wonderful to be back home again. Thank you all for coming out. And it's a special joy to be introduced tonight by the governor-elect of the state of Indiana, Eric Holcomb, and his wonderful wife, Janet. We're also so, uh, so moved to have so many neighbors and friends to give us this warm welcome home tonight. Uh, especially grateful to be joined by one of the great public servants in my lifetime in the state of Indiana. I know he is here. But Senator Dan Coates and his wife, Marsha, are with us. Would you join us in thanking them for a lifetime of service to the state of Indiana? And uh, also grateful to be joined with newly reelected majorities in the Indiana General Assembly by Speaker Brian Bosman and his wonderful wife, Cheryl. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, thank you for honoring us tonight. And to all who are gathered here today, we are uh, deeply humbled and moved by this uh, warm Hoosier homecoming. You know, in my life, I've been blessed in so many ways. Uh, uh, blessed to represent my hometown in our nation's capital. Blessed to uh, have had the opportunity to serve as governor of the greatest state in the greatest nation on earth. But I am, uh, I am deeply humbled to stand among my neighbors and friends with my family at my side uh, to know that it will be my great honor to take that lifetime of experience to serve as the Vice President of the United States of America. And I want to thank you all. I'm just here to say thanks and here to give lots of hugs. First and foremost, I want to thank the love of my life. A girl I met at the very same church where we voted on Tuesday, <laughs> who has been at my side for 31 years, been at my side over the course of this campaign over the last four months, and she is going to be an extraordinary second lady of the United States of America, my wife, Karen Penn. And we're so grateful to our children, our son, Michael Joseph, who couldn't be here today, serving in the Marine Corps, our wonderful daughter, Audrey, who's overseas. But I want to give a special thanks to our, uh, our first daughter, our middle child who literally traveled across the entire country with her mom and dad. I, I said she was babysitting her parents <laughs> while they ran for vice president of the United States. This, this is an amazing young lady, our daughter Charlotte, and we couldn't be more proud and more grateful. And I want to I want to thank I want to thank my parents. My dad, who I have a feeling is looking down from glory and very surprised. <laughs> and, and I want to thank my mom, whose uh, energy, whose love of this country as the daughter of immigrants, uh, whose passion for service and passion for our family continues to animate all of my life. Mom, thank you. Thank you so much. And back here, the welcoming committee at the bottom of the stairs, my big disastrous family, the whole Pence family, we just love you and thank you so much for being there and carrying us with your love and your prayers. And I want to thank my, my father-in-law, Bernie Barcio, who uh, we consider him part of the Pence family, whether he wants to that label or not. Lastly, I, I want to thank all the people uh, whose support whose kindness, who exam whose example has raised us up. Make no mistake about it. The example of the people of Indiana, the example of the state of Indiana in leadership that you have supported, 
carried us to this position. And I promise you, every day we will work our hearts out to make Indiana proud. I just have a few things to ask uh, of, of each of you. Number one, I ask you, I ask you to support our president-elect Donald Trump as he prepares to assume the duties of the highest office in the land. As, as support our, our, uh, our newly re-elected majorities in the House and the Senate and support Senator Todd Young uh, as he partners with us to make America great again. I also ask you to support the strong leadership that has taken Indiana to record employment, to be the fiscal envy of the country, to be a nationally recognized leader in education, innovation, infrastructure, and even health care, uh, by supporting our governor-elect Eric Holcomb and his family, uh, supporting Speaker Bosma in the General Assembly, supporting Senator Long, and all the great statewide leaders who will be moving our state forward. Uh, our responsibilities will broaden, but we will be looking on fondly uh, at the progress of Indiana as Indiana will continue to to set the pace for the country. And lastly, I, I just, uh, I would ask each one of you to pray for us. Uh, pray for us uh, that we might serve with integrity of heart, uh, with the grace, and, uh, and with the common sense that is synonymous with the name Hoosier. <laughs> and I also ask you to, to pray for our country. I pray that... Uh, that we might find our way forward as a nation, that we might renew the American dream, uh, that we might uh, create new opportunities to improve the lives of the people of this nation, and in, and in that way to heal, to heal the divisions in our country uh, and move forward to a more prosperous future and move forward with firm reliance on providence as one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So let me say on, on, on behalf of, uh, on behalf of uh, my family and my kids, mom, uh, our whole extended family, uh, I just, I just want to say thank you. Uh, everything I am, uh, everything I will ever be, I owe to God my parents, my family, and the good people of the great state of Indiana. And so let me just, let me just say to each one of you, I, I hope you will always know, will always know, that wherever my duties take me as Vice President of the United States of America, every morning that I wake up, my heart will always be where the moonlight is fair along the Wabash. And from the fields there come the breath of new mown hay. Where I know the candlelights will always be gleaming through the sycamores on the banks of the Wabash far away. Thank you, Indiana. God bless you. We're going to work our hearts out to make you proud. <laughs>